Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, champ? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. What a punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Try to establish that jab. Oh. Separate. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Powerful leg kick land. Body attack, and it's blocked. Good point. Oh, collar tie. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Do it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. And now he's got the tie clinch. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, he heard about the jabs. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big kick land. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Nice punch there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. He loaded up there on that high kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming into it. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. He engages in a single collar tie here. Look at him drive the shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big oh. punch land. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He is getting oh. lit up right now, John. Landed a big kick there. Beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. A oh, little single collar tie there. And they separate. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. 
Look at the force behind that leg kick. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round here. Lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder. And he buckles him there with the leg kick. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to rotate that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Wow, what a kick. Oh, straight right. That punch, no good. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just misses there with the left. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away. Oh, big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence. Oh, he's hurt. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Just over three minutes to go. Whoa! Under three to go round two. Well, he's oh! Out. He's out! He's done, he's done! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of a knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, nine seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by... Oh, oh, oh. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by now. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.